Hi everyone, welcome to victoriafighter.com and today we are going to make this ultimate leftover feast. Now, I started with leftovers but the end result is absolutely to die for and it's absolutely amazing to entertain with. And those are amazing, amazing coho salmon fish cakes. They are just magnificent. So, I hope you enjoyed the idea and stay tuned! Here is about 4 cups of fish. I made yesterday whole big coho salmon. Somewhere I linked to the recipe, somewhere here in the description box below. And to this I'm going to add cilantro, a little bit of cheese, and green onion. Another leftover recipe, and again I'm going to link somewhere here and in the description box below as well, those potatoes that I made them at home and then on fire and they smell with a little bit of smokiness, so they are going in as well. And as you see it's onion in here and carrots and they are amazing. Basically, you can use any leftover potatoes or you can use um, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, baked sweet potatoes, pretty much anything here. Instead of an egg, I'm going to use something weird, avocado. Yes, you can use avocado in warm things and you, and you can cook avocado. And it's bind all together. So whole ripe avocado goes in. lemon, zest, and half lemon juice as well. So zest going there, and now the juice. The juice. Now a bit salt and pepper. You have to remember that potatoes are already salted and the fish is not blend as well. So don't overdo it, just a bit. This is Himalayan pink and mash all together. Now after all is mashed, you have to try it. I've tried it and I need a little bit more lemon, I think it needs acidity, a little bit more salt and you can add a little bit of cayenne pepper or you know my you know what, anything you like. This is pretty open recipe. Most of my recipes are open and you know it. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. You know what, I need a little bit of spice in it. And pretty much that's it. Okay, next I'm using almond flour, but you can use uh, um, breadcrumbs if you can use them and you don't need to eat gluten free. But almond uh, flour, gives another layer or gorgeous flavor to it. Uh, wet your hands and make the patties and cover them with the um, almond flour or with the uh, breadcrumbs and make more of those. Add a bit of avocado oil and let's fry it. By the way, what is very good about those at this point, or even a little bit before, that it uh, had been covered with the breadcrumbs, you can freeze them and then just defrost and fry and you will have ready to go lunch for busy week. Make it on the weekend and you will have awesome dinner in the weekday. After a couple of minutes on one side, pop it to another when they are beautiful. Yeah, like so. And another couple of minutes. You have to remember, it's everything cooked in here. You just need to warm it through very well. And it's done, basically. That's it. Let's try our creation. 
more lemon juice on top. You are still here? Oh, yeah, you are still here. I'm sorry. This is just amazing. I love fish and those fish cakes are magnificent. The potatoes and the carrots that I'm doing, as you remember, were heated in the in the fire. So we have this bit smokiness to it. So if you don't have um, smoky flavor potatoes like I did, you can add a little bit of smoked paprika to add this. It's just magnificent. Now, as usual. I hope you enjoyed the idea and don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me and cheers Victoria. Thank you for being with me, thank you for watching it, love you all, see you next time, bye! Yes, and please support my channel. Please support my channel by visiting my shops. The links are in description box below. You will find the recipes for Halloween, holidays and just for fun. We have kids books and game as well. Thank you for uh, supporting me and my channel. Love you all. See you next time. Bye.